clearly Q3 DM17. Yeah! No, actually, it's a complete reimagining of the map castle. Um, we probably cut or never finish 50% of the maps we start. Um, so what a what War Museum is, is uh, our take on what a complete reimagining of a classic role in war map would be in the Black Ops universe. Alright everybody, here's the topic we've all been waiting for. So if you believe what you read on the internet, you think that uh, Treyarch hated snipers and that we wanted to nerf them out of existence, if you were a sniper, you'd uh, believe that we were evil people and that we were trying to crush your YouTube subscriber counts. Unfortunately, uh, the uh, internet would be wrong and the uh, truth is less glorious than the reality. Uh, at a more practical level, uh, we try to create gameplay separations between our one-shot weapons, one-hit one kill weapons, and for close range we have shotguns, for long range we have sniper rifles. Um, we have, uh, and you know, in the hands of a skilled player, a one-hit kill weapon that works at all ranges is pretty powerful. Probably a little bit too powerful. So, what we try to do is, you know, remove the ability for the, the sniper rifles to, to work super quickly at, at close range like that. Um, you know, yeah, and unlike Vaughn, we're not all members of OpTic, so, you know, we can't kick scope for shit. You know, what fans refer to as quick scoping patch was at a very late development and took quite a long time to get uh, where we could actually tune it. So, uh, as you can see, uh, OpTic Vaughn there, I blame him actually for this whole thing. So, you know, we, we didn't really understand at the time just how far we took it and what the ramifications would be on the uh, final game. We still don't believe, and probably never will, that uh, given players of equal play level, that a uh, sniper rifle should be able to beat a shotgun at close range. You know, this, this is just proof that best intentions to give yourself the highest flexibility uh, to tune the game um, don't always start or end in exactly the way that makes sense. Our goal should have been to create a viable but balanced platform for running gun snipers. By nerfing quick scoping, people feel like we also nerfed hard scoping, or what I like to call just regular sniping. Uh, and you know that was really never our intention. Okay, so next up, I want to talk a little bit about user-created um, art. Ah. So we had a slide for you which, unfortunately, we had to cut at the last minute because of, uh... Fucking lawyers. Lawyers. So, the Able Editor, we went, in, we went into the development of the Able Editor with eyes wide open. We knew exactly how people were going to use this. We knew that it was going to be ugly and beautiful at the same time. And in all honesty, the reality is that it's a complete pain in the ass. We had to hire a guy full-time just to monitor the emblems and manage the reports from the community about emblems that were offensive, that you guys found offensive. We had to build new tools, new technology, um, to police the community and to ban offenders. Uh, we also had to sit in countless meetings with suits to discuss corporate strategies and policies, which, as developers, is always fun. But, if we had, this, if we had it to do all over again, we would do the exact same thing. Because the, the lesson here is that the beauty is always more important than the ugly. The nastiness can never overshadow the creativity and freedom of expression for you guys, the fans. Yay! Look at these awesome emblems up here. Yes. Those are, those are you guys are really amazing. Nice. Right. Beautiful work. And now, it's my pleasure to introduce to you Tan Moore Fudgley. True story. Tan Moore, Dan Moore Fudgley was born.